Uh, so so 6'4 suited, really inexcusable not to play. Um, sometimes people, when you get a little bit shorter, they start really tightening up. I think it's the opposite. Um, again, I think it really helps to look at these decisions uh, from your opponent's perspective. Uh, do you prefer it when your opponent is playing a very wide range from the button, 12 big blinds deep? Um, or do you prefer it when he's folding a lot of hands and, and sort of waiting for, for, for big, uh, big holdings? It's much easier to play against the second opponent, right? And that's just a good way of looking at uh, decisions in all types of games. Um, for example, in American football, one thing I noticed, like, just as, as a kid, I know a lot of my, my audience uh, isn't American, uh, but bear with me. Basically, in American football, there's a decision of whether or not to, to go for it and risk it um, and go for a first down or to punt the ball away to the other team. Uh, and what I realized is that when I'm on defense in that situation, I'm always hoping that my opponent punts because um, I just want to have the ball and then we can go from there. Um, and the thing is that from the other side, what, what coaches too much tend to do is say like, oh, it's so risky for me to go for it um, because then they would just get the ball right there. Um, I should just, just, just punt the ball away. Um, but there's a problem if you're doing the exact same thing that your opponent wants you to do. So anytime you, 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 you think about what should I do here, you can kind of flip the tables and think, um, if I were the opponent, like, who would I want to play against? And who wouldn't I want to play against? So we have some king four offsuit where we just fold on the button. The trend of, of folding these sort of king rag hands on the button is, is one of my least favorite trends. Um, your opponent has to be extremely aggressive before that becomes good. 10-8 uh, offsuit, 9-6 uh, offsuit, another 9-6 offsuit. And this is one thing that really drives me crazy. Um, it's the same hand as this 9-6, or same hero and villain as when we folded 9-6 on the previous hand. And then we go ahead and open 2-5 offsuit. Um, which is probably a, a perfectly fine open, or, or could be against a lot of villain tendencies here. Um, and I do believe in game flow. Like, it's not like you have to play the exact same rigid ranges all the time. Like, game flow dynamics will mean that it's possible for you to want to change up your ranges. Um, but I think, in general, uh, that my students way overestimate the importance of game flow. Uh, like, oh, I folded the last few hands, I, sh I should open here. Because um, that's... It goes back to what I said earlier about like strategy that sounds cool and interesting and how like the top players are using it to beat you. And so people get kind of sort of enamored with that type of strategy. Um, but there's just not like as enough evidence um, of these type of things. And I tend to be very skeptical of people's claims that there's, there's a huge impact here um, just for those reasons. Um, so whenever you're folding 9-6 offsuit and then opening the next hand with a much worse hand, you have to be extremely skeptical of, of that train of events. 9-5 offsuit, you have to play from the button. Lots of 9-5 offsuit hands. 10-6 um, offsuit, 5-7 offsuit, um, like 5-10 offsuit. Like obviously, like probably like, like it goes back to the sort of ranges that you should be playing. Um, but I think that dragging through these hands really makes the point of how much edge you give up uh, by not playing. Uh, even under 10 big blinds, uh, like when you have like 10-6 uh, for 9 big blinds, it isn't a shove. I think people, well, some people are way too quick just to auto-fold this. Because, um, again, you have to think about the other perspective. Nine big blinds deep, when your opponent min-raises, like, alarm bells are going off in your head. Um, you're thinking, like, wow. Like, like that, that's very likely to be a induce in a lot of cases. And you're backed up by all these strong ranges that you are inducing with, like all these strong hands that you are inducing with at that stack size. Um, so people... Don't take advantage of that enough and don't start min-raising more around the like 8 to 12 big blind because if they min-raise and then get shoved off their hand, then they lose a big portion of their stack. But that actually isn't a mathematical reason uh, to do it because if you win, then you gain a big portion of your stack. So it, it, it's, it's not worth thinking it like that. And then more queen 4, more 9-4 nine, nine suited. Um, and then the last villain, I, this is a villain I, I particularly disliked. Uh, and it pained me to see a student folding this hand against them because I know why they did it because I recognize it in myself. Um, I alluded to it earlier, uh, but a villain that plays a big percentage uh, from the big blind uh, and uh, is pretty aggressive and three bets a lot. Um, one of the inclinations is to go into a shell and play a lot fewer hands, um, but 9-4 offsuit is, is too good of a hand for this. 
Um, like maybe like a lot of the benefit for 9.4 offsuit is, is the suited anyways is, is deeper than this and that's another reason why you should open it and again these percentages aren't precise. Uh, but 9.4 suited is too good a hand to go into a shell and start folding unless your opponent has crazy crazy aggressive tendencies.